me and Islam. Why did I abandon Islam or why did I left Islam and what is the thing which, you know, attracted me towards Christianity or why did I convert it? So let me tell you firstly that I do not hate Islam and there is no point that would force me to hate Islam because this is the religion of my parents, my family, my forefathers, my tribe. So there is no point of hating Islam. I never hate Islam. But the few things which, you know, uh, forced me, influenced me to go towards Christianity are very important and are very concerning. And I would be telling them to you in this video. So the Islam is based on two things. The first one is your faith, your belief, and the second one is your good deeds. So the question arises here is that is your faith and your good deeds are capable enough for you to give you the surety of salvation? No. Islam does not give you any surety for your salvation. Islam does not give any surety of salvation to Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. The Quran clearly says that. And if you want to have the reference, it would be the ayat number 46 and the verse 9, in which the Holy Prophet clearly says, I'm not the first of the messengers, and I do not know what shall be done with me or with you. I follow only what is revealed to me, and I'm nothing but a plain warner. This is the translation of the verse of Holy Quran, in which you can see that Holy Prophet is clearly saying that he does not know what would be done to him or what would be done to the people, to his people, to his Ummah, the Muslim Ummah. So when the Holy Prophet is not aware about his salvation, then how would you be aware that you would be sent to Jannah with your good deeds? If you think so, that you sh you would be sent to Jannah according to your deeds and your faith, then you are in a big trouble. Because the Holy Prophet clearly says that there is no assurity of salvation for his daughter, Bibi Fatma. So, do you think that there would be any assurity for you? No. And there is a famous hadith of Bukhari, 